Stockholm Junior Water Prize är en del av World Water Week i Stockholm. Varje år kommer ungdomar mellan 15 till 20 år till Stockholm för att tävla om juniorvattenpriset. De har kvalificerat sig genom att bland tusentals deltagare vinna en tävling om bästa vattenprojekt i sitt hemland. Den sista veckan i augusti samlades finalister från 33 länder, däribland Bangladesh. Och ni vann hederspriset, Diploma of Excellence. Ah, we feel great because we didn't expect much, but Diploma of Excellence hur fick ni idén till projektet? We started with what major problem do we have? We started with asking that question and we looked at like the textile industry in our country is the best thing that is in our country. The economy is growing because of it, but that industry was also creating a very big problem. Um, our project basically involves uh, removing colored, uh, colored colors from wastewater that the textile industries in our country is discharging. So we used what's called titanium dioxide. It, it is a natural photocatalyst. It's a semiconductor photocatalyst and it can degrade dyes by itself in the presence of sunlight. And that's where the word photo comes from. Uh, our entire project, the novelty lied in the fact of how we can dope this particular substance, the titanium dioxide, and make that degradation efficiency, so as to say, more efficient. And that's where we based our project around. And what uh, was the result? Was it more efficient? Oh yes, that's that's the only thing that uh, you know encouraged us to carry out further experiments. We got a very very big boost in efficiency. We were able to dope it very cheaply with cheap dopants, which could be cheaply sourced. And because our country needs cheap materials uh, to actually make a cheap technology, or else if we make something expensive, uh, the industrialists won't take the technology into their sector. So it did work, and we are very happy. And how did you share the task between you in the group? Yeah. We, we divided our tasks, like someone took the experiment, someone did the paper writing. We divided our tasks equally and we cooperated with each other, we helped each other out. It was a t total team effort. Yeah. So, were there many discussions how to work? Yes, there were many discussions. We discussed it among ourselves and with the teachers and with the, our fellow classmates even. We took all the help we can get and it made us come here. What was uh, most difficult during the process, uh, the, the work? In Bangladesh, uh, a very big problem would be how our lack of experimental uh, uh, facilities. We didn't have enough facilities in our school, so we had to uh, do work in universities. And it was tough to get time because the universities have a particular schedule them themselves. We can't just go in any time and do the experiments. So they had to fix the time. We had to do in between classes. We had to take some time and do the experiments, and we had to do that uh, almost three, four times every day during the worst of the time. So, And sometimes we didn't get results, sometimes we did. So I would say most of the times it was demotivating, but sticking through that was the toughest journey. What was the funniest moment? Yeah, the funniest moments, or the most enjoyable moments, came actually during the worst moments. Uh, we used to go out on uh, hangouts and we used to go out to eat only when we had bad days. So you could imagine how many uh, times we had to go to restaurants and eat because we had a lot of bad days. So that is, I, I would say, the most memorable part of this entire trip, celebrating the bad days with memorable experiences. But you, you haven't gained weight as, I, as far as I can see. Uh, we've, been, we've been doing a lot of traveling, 16 hours, <laughs> from Bangladesh to <laughs> Stockholm. So, And even during the project we had to go to the universities via local transports like buses. Yeah. So we had to walk a lot. We had to go through a lot. In the future, what kind of profession do you want? Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing something related to environmental science right now. Actually being in this experience opened up my eyes to the water world. I personally, before this, all of this, I had a very narrow view. I thought I had a wide view, but I found out I have a very narrow view about the water world. After hearing the laureate speak and all these people so intelligent in the water community actually speak out, I have a wider knowledge and this made me love environmental science so much, seeing this community so well set up. So I do want to start study environmental science when I joined university. The practice of doing research fascinated me. I want to do further more research. I want to take physics as my major. What will happen now with uh, this project? I think the next big challenge would be to somehow 
do more experiments, uh, change the parameters of the problem we are trying to solve, the dye, industrial dyes, and actually make a general solution to all problems. And that would be the first step. The second thing that we should be doing is maybe somehow marketing this product to the industrialists so that they actually identify that this is something that's cheap and something that in the long term might be profitable for themselves. And uh, how do you look upon uh, your stay here in Stockholm? Oh, what what is there to not remember? <laughs> Everything is memorable. Like the weather is so amazing. Like in Bangladesh, we have 30 degrees Celsius, 31 degrees Celsius, and on average, uh, even during spring, and it's 96 percent humidity. So you can imagine we are having a very good time over here. Low humidity, it's cool, and the experience. The city is amazing. It's got a lot of good heritage, the old town, you know, the study tour, the city tour that we have, and the amount, the lot of friends that we could make friends from 32 countries and the event itself, all of this culminated to give us a memorable experience to say the least. Do you have something to add to that? The people around here is very nice, like when you give a smile to them, they smile back and sometimes say hi. Even if you don't know them, they're very friendly, everyone here is very friendly. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah.